now slab floor on grade so let us try to understand these two terms slab floor on grade and slab floor below grade this is the building and it is on the ground floor it is basically on the grade now this is the floor so the floor is on the grade now the heat from the soil into the building will be very minimal however there is a chance of getting heat through the edges so this is the floor and this one is basically the structural column and here is the space where the maximum heat induction can happen and to protect that heat in many places insulation can be provided if the building is little down say for example this below portion is basement and it is below ground we say the slab floor this is the slab floor below grade this is the slab floor level which is below the grade level or the ground floor if we look closely we see this is the depth of the floor particularly the portion which is below ground or below grade and here slight heat may come especially through the edges that is why insulation can be provided in many projects see this is the depth of the insulation let us consider for this room only and this is the uh, length this is the room width and here also length this is 3 meter so this is 5 meter this is 4 meter and this is 3 meter now slab floor on grid floor area what is the floor area 201.5 is there because it is uh, we have considered for mv switch gear room since our project is for floor above unconditioned space we are just trying to give an example with slab floor on grid and slab floor below grid so here say the floor area is let us calculate from this drawing 5 meter by 4 meter is equal to 20 meter square so floor area will be 20 meter square total floor u value here 0.5 is okay we have considered it can be at actual if there is an insulation below the floor then we have to consider that insulation as well and accordingly the floor u value has to be considered for our example we are considering 0.5 and exposed perimeter we have already discussed that exposed perimeter means that the chances of the heat ingression through the exposed perimeters so this is the exposed perimeters so it is 5 meter plus 4 meter plus 3 meter so 5 plus 4 plus 3 12 meter so we can write it here in our half it is 12 meter now age insulation r value we have seen this is the age insulation so let us consider that r value is 2 meter square k by what so here we will write 2 now we have completed slab floor on grade let us try to understand slab floor below grade this is for example only let us consider this is below grade and the dimension is same so what we will write the floor area will be 5 multiplied by 4 equal to 20 meter square so it is 20 meter square exposed perimeter is same here it is 12 meter total floor u value it will be same which we have already discussed floor depth let us consider the floor depth is 3 meter so we will put it here 3 meter and basement wall u value this is the default u value 0.568 we can retain we can keep it 0.5 watt per meter square k wall insulation r value here we have given the insulation say the r value of the insulation is 2 meter square k per watt so 
we can write to and depth of wall insulation now 2 meter is the depth of wall insulation which has been considered in this building so let's put 2 meter now we have completed the input for slab floor below grid let's click okay